Well, with us now is Professor Christian Dusman. He's the Director of University College London's Centre for Research and Analysis of Migration. Thanks for coming in to Hello. talk to us. Uh, following on uh, from what Ben Brown was talking about there and where indeed he is, what do you make, first of all, of these increasingly fractious exchanges between Hungary and Croatia? Well, the picture on what we are seeing uh, in terms of this humanitarian tragedy is uh, changing on a daily basis. Uh, Croatia is now feeling uh, the pressure uh, of uh, Hungary having uh, built up a border to Serbia. Uh, so those uh, refugees are trying uh, other ways to get into the Schengen area. Uh, and uh, well, Croatia is at the moment the country which is uh, well feeling uh, the, the pressure in a very extreme way. Um, I think this will be with us for quite some time. Uh, until we have reached an agreement uh, on European level and I understand that next week there will be very urgent negotiations uh, which will hopefully bring us a little bit further down the line of agreeing how we can handle this particular crisis. So how should the EU respond in your view? Uh, well, I mean there have been many proposals on the table. Of course those countries who feel uh, most of the pressure, uh, such as Germany uh, and Austria and also the Scandinavian countries, would like to distribute um, the pressure uh, uh, across the different European countries and the quota discussion has been going in this direction. However, uh, some countries and in particular the Central and Eastern European countries of the European Union don't really feel um, that they should uh, agree on quotas. So again, we, are not, uh, reached at the, we have not reached the final stage of those negotiations yet, but the increasing pressure, I would be very confident, uh, will lead us to an agreement. Can you see a situation whereby those quotas could be imposed on those countries that don't want them? I think that would be very difficult. The, there will be pressure uh, and in the end uh, I think we will see an agreement. We have seen uh, Europe solving many problems uh, which were on that particular level and I think we will find a solution also here. Uh, it will take a little bit of time uh, the situation in which we find Europe at the moment is very unique. We never have been uh, seeing this inflow uh, of uh, people uh, into European countries. So clearly that uh, challenges the institutions we have in Europe and uh, requires a different sort of coordination uh, than what has been required earlier. It feels like we've been talking about this for weeks. Can there really be any grounds for optimism? Um, well. So I think we can learn a lot from this crisis. Uh, certainly the, the way to stop it is to uh, guarantee security uh, and livable conditions for those people who actually try to get to Europe. Uh, and this clearly is a responsibility which in future we should take much more serious than we have taken it in the past. We see uh, Kerry, uh, Foreign Secretary Kerry is in London uh, today and uh, so there is an effort uh, on all sides, including actually the Russians, uh, to find a solution to the Syria crisis. Uh, and I hope that these negotiations and uh, that this uh, particular effort will be increased uh, so that these people do not have to leave their countries. And I also hope that in the future we will be more careful uh, in our interventions to make sure uh, that we uh, create security in those countries where these people are coming from. Okay, Professor Dusman, we're really grateful for your time. Thanks for coming in to Very talk welcome. to us.